I'm always on the lookout for new dirt jumpers to share with you all. I'm headed over to see my friends Mark and JV at the Bike Hub in Glen Ellen, Illinois. Mark told me they got a new shipment of dirt jumpers from Cannondale, of all places. It's always nice to be able to film a bike live and in person. So for this video, we're gonna take a close-up look at this new bike. This is the new Cannondale Dave. Cannondale hasn't made a dirt jumper since 2010. The last time they made a dirt jumper, it was called the Chase for pro free rider Aaron Chase. The Dave is an aluminum frame with a tapered head tube, threaded bottom bracket, and built-in chain tensioners. The bike comes with the Manitou Circus Expert fork, a good air sprung fork with compression and rebound adjustment. The bike has an integrated headset with sealed bearings. At the bottom of the frame, the Dave is equipped with an 8-spline 3-piece crank set in a threaded Euro bottom bracket on a 19mm spindle. The cranks turn a 28-tooth sprocket up front and a 13-tooth cog in the rear. This will give you a balanced pedaling platform that's not too hard and not too spinny. The wheel set is made up of 32-hole double wall rims laced to a formula 20 by 110 millimeter front hub and a sealed bearing cassette driver hub in the rear. The tires on this bike are the ever popular Maxxis DTH in 26 by 2.3. The cockpit is made up of a Cannondale seat post, stem and bars. The bars are a wide 780 millimeters with a 30 millimeter rise. The grips and saddle are made by fabric. You get a Tektro mechanical rear disc brake, so adding a gyro will be fairly effortless. As far as geometry, this bike will favor a taller rider with the 438mm reach. The chainstay on the other hand is nice and short at 378mm. And then there are other factors when it comes to geometry, but I would say this one falls in the size large category. If you're an average sized rider, this will be a more stable platform if you're transitioning from a traditional mountain bike. I have to say I'm also impressed with the weight. With chromoly cranks and a half-link chain and several house branded parts, this bike comes in at a fairly light 26.8 pounds. The nice thing about your local bike shop is that you can throw a leg over a bike before you buy. And this bike is priced fair at $1,200. Mark tells me they've got several of these in stock. If you're in the Chicago area, pay a visit to my friends over at the Bike Hub. And if you're not in the Chicago area and you're interested in a new Dave, give them a call. They might actually be able to help you. I'll leave the shop's info in the description. Even though I work with several great online companies, I also know there's tremendous value in the local bike shop. You're helping out your local community. And you have resources that are nearby, sometimes right around the corner. I hope you enjoyed this leg of my journey. Thanks for watching. So this is kind of an ode back into that realm because they haven't had a dirt jumper in quite a few years now. So uh, it's very slacked out. This one in particular was designed and built by the 5001 crew. So if anybody knows, I'm sure there's a lot of dirt jumpers out there that know that crew. And so this was very well dialed down to meet their needs and uh, satisfy the everyday rider uh, as well. So awesome bike for the money.